In this week's Photoshop design tutorial, I'll teach you how to do a simple futuristic logo in Photoshop. So hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me over at RetailPro.com. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a very simple beginner-like tutorial but also futuristic design. Now, if you're too lazy to create this yourself, you want the PSD, the background, the shapes and everything that I use, you can also purchase our Tronics Design Media Package. Down below in the description is a link. For $4.99 per month, you get everything that I create every single week. From backgrounds, shapes, brushes, PSDs, everything to set you up. So yeah guys, enough of the talking, let's head right away into the tutorial. Okay, so over in our lace palette on the right hand side here, you guys get to see again we have the folders. So right away you guys see we have text, shapes and some background. So let's start right away with the background. Also, if you're completely new here, do have a look on the channel, some more tutorials teaching you how to work with backgrounds here if you're completely new. Now, first of all, again, we have a layer zero here, which is just black so that our normal background layer here can shine through a little bit. The opacity is set to 73. So this is a bit darker. Let me quickly invert this so I can just show you guys if the layer would be white, this is the look you would get. But we're obviously sticking here with brown, sorry, with black. So right away you guys see that again, that is a bit darker. Okay, then on top of that, we did another adjustment layer here just with a selective color adjustment layer. Let me just open this quickly in the natural tones. Here you guys get the values. So I've just tweaked the cyan, magenta, yellow and black slightly. Let's also switch this on so you guys can actually see this. This is only for the neutral tones. And then I also went back into the blacks. So here are the values again just to get that certain color look. Here's the before and after, before and after. Okay, so that's basically it. Then we worked with some shapes over here and some text over the top. Very, very simple. But yeah, let's get right away into this. So first of all, I'm going to go to view new guide and quickly going to go horizontal and right here 50% just to have some guidelines as we do with every week. Then again, view new guide once again, vertical and again 50%. So you can place your design nicely into the center. Now I'm going to head over to the text tool, make a nice big selection and first of all, obviously going to write my text. So this is a bit more futuristic, a bit more abstract. It's called Anaxo. So yeah, let's go with this. Anexo, okay. And first of all, I want to select the right font. So for that, let's get head over here to the font and it's called Elite Danger Regular. All right, let's select that. I'm also going to work a little bit here with my size. So let's actually up that size all the way to like 170 or something. So it's nice and big. Wow, even more. Yes, 175. 5.01 yep I think I'm gonna make it slightly bigger still okay that is good but our tracking is completely broken so let's also work on the tracking I'm gonna head over here to the character box um, if you guys don't have the character box please go to window and select the character box over here now in the tracking I'm just gonna set this to like a minus 20 or minus 10 yeah minus 20 is actually good already I'm gonna accept this, take the move tool and move this a little bit into the center. So roughly over here. Okay, happy with that. Yep, with the cursors left and right a little bit, but that's not, uh, good so far. Then I'm gonna make another selection now. Just again, select the text tool on the left hand side. I'm gonna make a nice big selection over here. And this is obviously going to become now my slogan or something that I wanna write underneath this. So again, elite. Okay, I'm going to write elite here and since maybe 2080, so it's a bit futuristic there. Obviously, you guys can't see it at the moment because it's way too big. So I'm going to hit command A. I'm working on a Mac, so if you're a Windows person, please press control when I say command. So again, command A, we're going to select the complete text. And first of all, I'm just going to put a 10 here under the text. Okay, so now right away you see that we just have 10 as the text size. Let's maybe go a little bit bigger, something like 15 to 16, 17. 17 is actually nice. Okay, then again, I'm not going to work with the same uh, tracking here. So let's actually go and change the tracking to something that is way, way bigger. Maybe something like 900. 
940, 960 is actually nice. Okay, I'm going to accept that and move that all the way over into the center. But now you guys can see I still have the same font, so I actually want to change the font. So let's hit T on the keyboard again, get into the text tool, I'm going to select everything and right away also change the font type. So for this one I'm going to go with Gotham Light. Okay, over here, Gotham Light. You guys can also find it in the description down below again. Remember, Gotham Light is a paid for uh, font, so this will you will not find for free. But the Elite Danger one from NOX you will find for free. Again, it's all listed in the description down below. Okay, I'm going to accept it. One more thing that I didn't mention right now is obviously we have chosen to go with a white foreground color here for the text. So again, remember here at the top where you see the white block, you need to change your color here. Okay, Elite, I'm going to move this, whoops, that's the wrong one. Let's go and select Elite again. I'm going to move this slightly into the center and happy with that. Now, next thing that I will still do is add just two shapes to this. Let's select Anoxy and Elite over here. I'm going to press Command G to put this together in a group and just going to rename this to Text. Now, remember this was our first text here. Again, I'm going to turn this off. Take the text layer 2 maybe, so you guys don't get confused. And with V tool, I'm just going to move this again with the move tool into the center a little bit. Okay, until it feels nice and balanced. Then, next step that I'm still going to do is to create a complete new layer here. And then I'm going to go to the shape tool. So let's select the custom shape tool over here. And I'm going to go right away into the shape library. Now, you guys can see that I have a ton of shapes here. If you're too lazy or don't have any shapes, have a look in the description down below. There's a link again to the Tronics Design Media Package, where for $4.99 you can get all of my shapes, backgrounds, and everything that I create weekly here for the tutorials. Now, at the bottom here, you guys can see a round circle. I'm going to double tap on that and select the shape. I'm going to hold Shift on the keyboard so it's equally expanding and just make a nice round selection over here. And this is just, I um, actually didn't take a guideline here, I'm just doing it roughly. So you guys can also take a guideline to be more precise. Take the move tool and I'm just going to place it somewhere over here. Okay, let's press command J, duplicate that. Again, remember, I'm working with a Mac, so if you're a Windows person, please press control when I say command. Okay, let's move that all the way over here to the right hand side. And there we have it. Now, I'm going to take both shape layers. Hold command on the keyboard again, shape copy one and shape one. Press command G and put this together in a new group called the shape. V for the move tool and you can now obviously move them a little bit down if you want to also have them a bit centered. Now I do find the guidelines here a bit distracting. So first of all, I'm going to go to view and clear the guides over here. Zoom out a little bit and I'm trying to get a feel for it. Let's go back into the shape, shape copy one just with the move tool a little bit more to the right and shape layer one also a little bit more to the left. Now, as I said earlier, you guys can also create guidelines for this. I'm a bit too lazy to do this, but yeah, roughly what we're going to create. Now, all of this shape and text together, command G, I'm just going to write here design and that is our finished design. A super easy and quick tutorial. Okay guys, so that is basically it for this week's Photoshop design tutorial. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial. Now, also don't forget to check out that you have your both your shapes equally spaced so the logo feels balanced again. Yeah guys, if you're like me and just can't get enough of Photoshop design, then simply click on the button right now to subscribe. We send out free Photoshop design tutorials every single week just for you. So yeah guys, that's basically it for this week's tutorial. Remember Tronix Design Media Package down below, $4.99 to subscribe to get everything that you need to set you up. So yeah, that's it guys, see you in the next tutorial. You're still here, that means you're interested in some more tutorials. On the right hand side, again, some more beginner tutorials. At the bottom, subscribe and the Tronix Design Media Package with a monthly subscription to get everything that I crave. So yeah guys, I'm out. 